This is Ask Diz, I'm Diz, and I'm here to answer your running questions. So without any further ado, let's get this party started. Today's question comes from Peter, and Peter asks, how does one recover their heart rate while running slower? I've tried to slow my pace when my heart rate gets to its max ceiling, but that isn't working for me. Right now, I run until my heart rate hits that max number, then I have to walk to get it back down. When I try to slow my pace, I bring it down to almost walking. Any suggestions? Peter, thank you for the question. It is, a, it is a great question and something that I too have struggled with over the years of doing a Maffetone style training, a heart rate style training philosophy. So I do have some suggestions for you, but um, I don't have any great uh, miracle cures for dramatically bringing that heart rate down and then allowing you to keep running uh, after that because it's, it's kind of not how this whole thing works. So for those of you that are unfamiliar, Peter, I'll, I'll get back to your question in just a second. For those of you that are unfamiliar, uh, Maffetone style of training means that you, you set yourself a heart rate limit, uh, which it, the simplest t way to get there is to go 180 beats per minute, subtract your age. So to make the numbers easy, if you're 40 years old, 180 minus 40, 140 is your limit. Then you wear a heart rate monitor while you train, ideally a, a heart rate strap because it's more accurate than the, the wrist-based uh, readings. Um, but then you go out and you run and you keep your, your heart rate at the entire time of your run below that 140 beats per minute. So Peter, you're back to your question. What happens when you get right up to that limit? Maybe you go over it by a beat or two, so you need to slow back down. How come you can't get your heart rate to, to you know, kind of stay right underneath that limit? How come as soon as you start running again, it goes back up? Well, again, it's, it's basic physiology, right? Uh, your body adapts to the demands that you're placing under it. And even if you kind of slow back just a little bit, your body is still amped up to go a little bit harder. So, you know, you get up to that 140 limit, maybe you get up to 141, 142. Um, yes, then really the best way to bring it back down is to simply stop and walk. That's that's it. I mean, if you, if you catch it real early, maybe you catch it when you're at 138, 139, you're creeping up towards 140, then maybe you can pull back. But like you said in your question, Peter, you're probably gonna have to pull back to where you're almost walking. My opinion, and the way that, that I do it with my own training, when I get to that point and I need to, to bring it back, I, I either slow way down to where I'm almost walking or I just walk, which is more, more, more than likely what, I, what I'm gonna do. Um, and yeah, it brings my heart rate way back down. It brings it back down, you know, maybe down to 110, 115, something like that when I'm, when I'm walking. And then once it gets down there, hey, start running again and try to dial my pace back down because, because I know both from experience and from science that if I bring my heart rate back up too close and I really start pushing the pace again, right away, it's probably gonna shoot back over my limit again, and I'm gonna to have to repeat the cycle and get back to a, a, a walk and then run again. And nothing against run walking, but that's not my ideal method of training, especially for a shorter run. So, some things that I've learned, some suggestions that, that might help you, Peter. Don't always try to go right up to your max, all right? My max is 141. I tend to stick around 130, maybe 135 for most of my, most of my runs. Um, with it, with an except, every once in a while I do, I do get right up there close to the, to the limit. But for the most part, I just give myself a nice buffer. So if I'm staying between 130 and 135, I'm still getting a good workout in. I'm still improving my aerobic fitness, but I'm not freaking out and not worried about being right up there next to the limit, maybe going a little bit over and having to slow back down. I just kind of find a spot and cruise, stay in that 130, 135 range, and I don't ever have any issues. So maybe you could try that. Just lower your, lower your. Not your official target, but lower your, your practical target, you know, your, your in actuality target, your heart rate zone, down four or five beats and just hang out there. And that may, that may just allow you to keep running at a steady pace and keep your, that heart rate right where it needs to be. Obviously, slowing down is another key as well. You know, if, 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 you, if you can start out at, say, just to make numbers easy, start out at 10 minute per mile pace and, you know, your heart rate's climbing, you may have to drop it back a bit. You may have to, and, and even more effective than just dropping it back as your heart rate climbs, is to recognize that every time I run at 10 minute pace, my heart rate ends up going over my limit. So maybe start running at 10.15 or 10.30 pace, and it's not gonna spike your heart rate as much, it's gonna kinda rise up and then flatline, maybe in that 130 to 135 range, and then you can just cruise from there, 
staying at that pace, maybe picking it up just a little bit as the workout goes. Um, but you know, that's going to help keep you from, from going across that threshold. Most, in most instances, at least as far as I've experienced and as far as I've, I've read and learned and talked to other folks, once you kind of get across that, that higher end, your, your mafetone limit, your math limit, um, it's really hard to run very hard and keep it below that unless you go real slow for a while. So, you, you know, if, if it spikes early, drop it down, keep it nice and nice and easy, keep your heart rate maybe 10 beats below, 15 beats below, and then as, as it kind of settles in, then you can maybe start creeping things back up a bit. But ultimately, Peter, the only real suggestion I have for you, which is probably not the suggestion you were looking for, is you just got to adjust. You just got to adapt. You got to keep things, keep things easy, keep that, that heart rate below the threshold. And over time, and it may take a long time, but over time, you're going to keep seeing that pace, the pace you're able to run continue to, to pick up. And maybe more to your question, Peter, you're going to see your heart rate start to, to level off and hold steady more, more than just spiking up and down all the time. And that's something that, that I've really uh, come to appreciate in the last few months, so kind of getting to that two-year mark, is that my heart rate doesn't just randomly spike anymore. Like once I kind of get into that cruise, cruise zone, it just stays there. And I've got some, I've got some play. I can, I can push up a little bit, and it's going to go up a little bit, but it's not going to just spike up. Like maybe that's what you're experiencing right now. So stick with it. The, the benefits come. The results will come. Uh, but it requires a he healthy dose. It requires a healthy dose of patience in order to see those results long term. So uh, I hope that helps, Peter. I'm pretty sure that probably wasn't the answer you were looking for. But it's the best suggestion I got is to just slow down, walk when you walk when you have to, and keep playing the long game, which is ultimately going to get you where you want to go. And for my money, heart rate training is the best way to get there in the, with the long game in mind. So uh, good luck. Keep going at it. Let us know how things go. And if you have any other questions, Peter, especially about heart rate training, Maffetone style training, let me know. Always happy to answer them. Ask Diz at DizRuns.com. And of course, anybody else, any other questions you have, feel free to send an email. Ask Diz at DizRuns.com with your question. Even better yet, record a voicemail on your phone. Send that file to Ask Diz at DizRuns.com and we'll get it answered ASAP. So until next time, heart rate training, it's a beautiful thing, but it requires a lot of patience. So uh, good luck, Peter. Good luck, everybody else. And uh, we'll talk soon. All right. See you guys.